everybody, welcome back to my anime reaction channel, Giz Anime. Today we're going to be watching Mushoko Tensei, episode 19. Last episode we left off with first meeting with Rudy, Iris, and Rajira on the ship as they're traveling across the sea in rather rocky weather. So much so that even Rudy is succumbing to seasickness and just having bouts of, you know, really intense hurling along with Iris who is doubly so bent over and just yeah she is not having a great time to say the least the only one who is not undergoing anything is Rujirid who is basically a rock in all of this we did jump to Roxy who is at the town that Rudy and everybody went to at first after leaving Roxy's home Meets and she's meeting up with this the horse guy whose name eludes me, and he convinces her to go back home. She hasn't been back home in quite some time because she left there when she was really young, because she's unable to communicate with anybody there of her kind, because she is unable to telepathically talk to them, which is the only way they really know how to talk. It showcased rather poorly that in the flashback with her mom when she was a child and her mother's going over the words with her, that that's her mom also learning along with Roxy how to read basic, I guess, demon tongue. Because her and her dad, her mom and her dad, learned demon tongue so that they would be able to communicate with their daughter. So Roxy left because she felt like an outcast since she was unable to talk to anybody. And she also felt like her mother and dad also really didn't care too much about her, I guess. Because, again, she left, but she also doesn't feel like they're really sincere in their feelings until her mom tells her to come back in, like, 20 years. And Roxy agrees to come back, like, every 50 years. And her mother basically breaks down in tears that... At least she's going to see her daughter probably a few more times before they pass. Roxy then at that moment understands that her mother really loves her. And that she doesn't care about her inability to communicate with them telepathically. And at which point Roxy breaks down and cries. So after a night at her parents' house, she wakes up and they discuss, you know, that they met Rudy along with Rujiri being a superb which sends Roxy into a state of shock. She passes out. When she wakes up, they let her know, you know, he's safe. That Rujiri isn't the person that the superbs are made out to be by everybody else. That this is like some kind of lie that's being spoken about about them and just, you know, carried throughout the land and built up as some kind of gospel basically so she feels like since that's the case rudy's in safe hands rudy's capable of himself with the superb by her, her side along with iris who is also a really capable fighter they're safe so she decides to go look for aisha lilia and zenith instead so that's where the episode Basically, it leaves off at this episode. We're probably going to get, I'm thinking a little bit of back and forth between everybody. You know, we'll see what Rudy's up to, then we'll see what Roxy's up to, and then we might even jump to where Paul is at. Uh, with that said, though, let's get on to this episode, see what happens, see how our group finds everybody, and I'll see you there. All right, everybody, here we go. And we are back with the human god guy. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. I mean, I don't know why Rudy's so upset to see this guy. He always has good things to tell him. He always helps him out. So, what's the issue here? I can't tell you everything. That's cheating. That's kind of incredible he still doesn't see himself as Rudy and instead sees himself as his previous reincarnation or incarnation. 
Come on, tell me. I do like how Rudy doesn't talk about anything in his previous life. Exactly. He's asking for quite a lot, though. He sure is. I don't... Well, that's kind of odd, though. I was gonna say, why wouldn't he trust him since everything he says has been good? But what if he's leading up to something bad? <laughs> you gotta point there, motherfucker. That's possible, but I, I highly doubt it. I mean, he hasn't lied so far. Where are we going? Where is Sharon at? Also, why not tell him his real name unless the people around are worried about the Grey Rat family? Because maybe they have like some kind of right to the land and they feel like if everybody's dead in the Grey Rat line, then they can just take the land. But if he reveals who he is, they'll try to kill him. What's going on with you? What are you talking about? Unless he thinks that Paul should have found Lilia and Aisha when he was here before he left to go to where they met. And somehow... Lily and Aisha were being kept under wraps in like the palace, like as servants or slaves. Oh, you almost had it. She happy to be somewhere familiar? Okay, no. I guess she's never been here. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. He meant Roxy would have found them. That was so off. I don't understand Iris's frustration with this. They're literally her family too. The human god seems good so far, but... Could he have, like, ill intent somehow? Oh, I don't think so. Is that his sister? Yes! Yeah, that's her. See, she's even in the maid outfit. The fact Rudy even knows someone's following him is kind of cool. Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying the reaction so far. And if you are, please smack that like button right here alongside of Rem. And I hope to see you again next time. Being this on guard is kind of ridiculous. Bullshit. That's kind of hard to believe. If it sounds too good to be true, it's probably false. I don't care where you're from. Let her go. How does he not even notice? He noticed Norn right away. Rudy needs to learn a flight spell. Okay. I guess that works. I feel like Rudy could have handled all of them too.
Why can't he say his name? Now that's the that's the next mystery, I guess. The rest of that was solved pretty quickly, actually. Maybe she would think he had something to do with the imprisonment? No, not exactly. <laughs> so that's how Paul didn't find her. Nobody will let her send the letter out. Because if Paul comes here, there's going to be problems. <laughs> you might have rescued him, but she's probably been told lies or something. Something's amiss with that. Roxy's panties. <laughs> I really can't imagine. I just wanted to do a little announcement that I am going to be doing a figure giveaway at 500 subscribers for a Super Masters Diorama 2 Trunks and Vegeta figure. It's over 9,000! Hope you enjoy it. Um, as a show of appreciation for the support that everybody's been giving me, all the comments everybody's been leaving, all the love from the anime community that I've been shown, I'm hoping to continue with what I'm doing and just to get better as I go to make the experience more enjoyable for everybody so that I can earn that sub from you. And like I said, at 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway for this figure. It is unopened, as you can see. So if you want to win that, then subscribe and just make sure that you're over 18 years of age and you live within the U.S. Because I don't know if I could afford the shipping outside. Like I said though, with that said, uh, I appreciate all the support I've been given. Thank you very much. And I will see you all next time. <laughs> A little too smart for someone her age. So does she not trust her brother because he's... A pervert. It has nothing to do with pe what people told her. Just her own. Hentai. Yeah, her <laughs> is what she sees him as. Ah. I think it sounds uh, pretty cool too. I don't know why he got upset when they told him what his name was. They're the alias people, Gable. Okay, where are Iris and Rujira? Did they decide to meet up somewhere? Shouldn't he go talk to them too? Okay. <laughs> He's excited to hear that from her. I haven't assaulted a castle in ages. Rujir is just itching to go bombard a castle. She's like, quiet down. You're gonna wake up my sister. Yeah, but I think that he's gonna go in there and it's gonna be a trap. You don't say! He's a little too trusting right now. But it might be too late. Like, this is a little hot-headed, too. <laughs> so, cool question, everybody. What was your first anime that really got you into anime? My first anime was Ronin Warriors. Don't know if you've ever heard of that one. But it has, like, a Power Rangers-type feel to it, in a way. It's a really interesting show. Okay, so this is how he gets in the castle. They don't have to bombard it. So these are people that knew Roxy. See? Too trusting. Look at them sweating. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Oh, wait. Is this the castle with the prince that she kept burning up? Hi, George. I think he's got it. 
Is that who this is? Look, she's sweaty. Something's going on. No, it's the prince. Yo, right now, I would just start hurling attacks at everybody. Like I said, too trusting. What, is this supposed to stop him from casting? Why would... The human god tell him to do things this way if this is what would happen. Oh, because he didn't give out his name? No, because they know it was him. That's why Roxy didn't come here. She knew she was there. But would have trapped her Roxy? you is he really saying that so that Rujiri and Iris will hear what's going on yo everybody's gotta die No, I don't think so. Alright, everybody. So that was the episode. And um, it was a pretty good episode, to say the least. So we start off with Rudy having a good dream. Again, he's meeting the human god who tells him a way to find his family. But then also makes him promise that the next time they meet, Whatever he tells him, he has to trust him for, or something to that effect. So, I don't think in this situation, uh, when Rudy questions his motives at the end of the episode, you know, did he set him up, basically? I don't think that's what's going on here. Uh, there's a reason behind everything, I think. You know, because now Rudy or Roxy will know that Rudy's here. And... Iris and Rujirid will understand once Rudy doesn't come back that something's amiss. And they might find each other and be able to figure out what's going on. Roxy almost more than likely knows, you know, that this guy is bad news, this prince, and will understand that she's probably set some kind of, or he's set some kind of trap. So she'll be prepared for that. My issue with this is you see the guards sweating. You see this person that went to go get Rudy sweating you see that it's the prince that Roxy knew and I knew he was a pervert like Rudy I just didn't know how intensely his perversion or disgust went like this guy is a child like Rudy and already really sadistic this guy plans on raping Roxy then beheading Rudy and doing it again like, what? what What? kind of child thinks of these kind of things? Like, what's wrong with you, kid? How did your dad raise you? Like, did he raise you? What? His, his ego is incredibly lofty. I'm not sure how Rudy's going to get out of this without outside help. I don't know if he's going to be able to somehow break the circle. Um, being able to think, you know beyond what everybody else has been able to think so far in terms of magic you know his incantations incantationless magic so maybe he'll think of something um but yeah as i said several times in the episode at the end they gotta die they're they're beating aisha they're probably going to try to beat and or kill or no they're beating lilia 
they're more than likely going to try to kill Aisha or use her for something that I wouldn't even go there. But, yeah. So, things don't look so hot right now for everybody. But hopefully they end up working out for the best. And, yeah, this guy and everybody else in this little circle of royalty dies. Uh, with that said, though, let me know what you all thought of this episode, people. And I will see you next time. Da-da-da. <laughs>